Today's daily dose of math is about finding the linear equation of the regression line from a table of values that goes with the scatter plot using the Meyer line method. The Meyer line method is an easy method for most students in my secondary four statistics courses because those students have been finding straight line equations many times in the previous math books they've done. But when they learn the Meyer line method, they have to handle the data in the table of values correctly. There are a couple of little tricks to doing this. If a student did not manage to notice these tricks while reading their book, what will happen is when they do Meyer line questions in their pretests, they will get incorrect equations. And we have to figure out why this is happening. The first trick that you have to know is that the x values in your table of values at the beginning of the process have to be in increasing order. My red example here has x values that are already in increasing order. This is very convenient. The student can go directly to the next step in the process. But a student who doesn't know that the x values have to be in increasing order is just getting lucky if they manage to get through the process and get the equation correct. In the blue example, the x values are not in increasing order. This is where the student would be unlucky because if you keep the points in this order in the table of values and try to do the Meyer line method, you will get incorrect averages for your x and y values and you will have an incorrect equation. So what you have to do is you have to reorder all of the points in the table of values with the x values increasing and you keep the y values with their x values. You keep the points intact. It is crucial that you are careful to pay attention to this step when doing the Meyer line method. With my red example, the data is already arranged in increasing order of x values. So the trick is I have to divide the table into two smaller tables of the same size. And all I have to do is take the first half of the points and put them in the first smaller table and the second half of the points and put them in the second smaller table. But this was easy because there were 12 points in this table, an even number. So dividing it into two smaller tables of the same size is straightforward. With the blue example, there are 13 points. When we split the data into two smaller tables, in order to make sure that the two tables are the same size, we take that middle point, which is the one with an x-coordinate of 4 and a y-coordinate of 6, and we use it twice. We use it as the last point in the first table and as the first point in the second table. If a student doesn't know this little trick, they end up getting bad values in the process for Meyer line method and they end up with an equation that is incorrect. The next thing that we need to do is find the x bar and y bar from each table. We're going to find what we call x bar 1 which is the average of the x values in the first table. y bar 1 is the average of the y values in the first table. Similarly, x bar 2 is the average of the x values in the second table, and y bar 2 is the average of the y values in the second table. Now that we have our tables arranged correctly, we're doing the same process in both the red and blue examples. And we found our various x bars and y bars. What are we going to do with them? We're just going to arrange them into coordinate pairs so that we have two points. Two points on our Meyer line. So x bar 1 is the x coordinate of the first point and y bar 1 is the y coordinate of the first point. The other two averages make the second point. Now we have two points that we can use to find the equation of our regression line. Of course, we're doing this with both the red example and the blue example. Then the rest of the method is really a review for students in this course because the rest of the method is to make 
a straight line equation in y equals ax plus b form using those two points. For the red example, we do the slope formula, we get a slope of 0 0.01. So we know our equation will be 0 0.01x plus b, we have to find b. We take one of the points, I happen to have used the point on the right side of the slope formula, and plug it in in order to solve for b, and that tells us our final answer, the equation y equals 0.01x plus 20.7. In the blue example, we are doing the exact same process. The slope formula is used to find a slope of 1.14. That tells us our equation is y equals 1.14x plus b, but we have to find our b. We use one of the points from the slope formula. This time I used the point on the left. It doesn't matter which point you use. To solve for b, and that gives us a final answer of y equals 1.14x minus 3.64 for the blue example. This is the Meyer Line Method. It is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.